Hi, second graders. Can you believe it? It is the end of the year. This is our last science video lesson. Um, and what I thought would be really fun is if we played a game together. So I set up a game. It's going to be a video game. Um, so you can pause it whenever you'd like. Um, and the video game, it's interactive. It's going to incorporate questions from science way back in kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. All of the investigations that we have done and um, the, the main topics that we learned about. So I hope that you guys have fun. Um, you do want to record your points or even record your answers somehow. So I would grab a piece of paper or if you have like a whiteboard at home, something like that, and follow along. I hope you have a really good time and a wonderful summer. Bye guys. The name of the game is Second Grade Science Review Game. You guys ready? Here's how it goes. I will ask a science question. You will have 30 seconds to answer. If you get it correct, give yourself one point. If you get it wrong, you get zero points and just move on to the next question. Questions can be from kindergarten, first or second grade science lessons. So here we go, first question. Oh, good luck. Now, first question. What is the name of the biggest star? What is the name of the biggest star? Five, four, three, two, one. There's the biggest star and its name is the sun. If you got that, give yourself a point. If not, just move on to the next one. How do squirrels change the environment? So environment is just a really fancy word for the world, the earth, right? How do squirrels change the earth? Five, four, three, two, one. Does that photo look familiar? Remember how squirrels, they bury their acorns and they don't remember where every single one of them was buried. So the ones that they forget about grow into trees. You got that right, give yourself a point. And we're moving on. What is this famous photograph called? What is this famous photograph called? Five, four, three, two, one. The blue marble. This is actually really poor quality, but I showed you guys this photograph um, in the fall when we started to learn about the different bodies of water. The blue marble was the answer. Moving on. First grade question, how many phases of the moon are there? And I gave you some choices. A, two phases. B, are there eight phases? C, there's one phase. Or D, there are three phases. Choose one of those. Five, four, Three, two, one. The answer, how many phases of the moon are there? B, there are eight phases of the moon. Moving on. What two things cause erosion? Hmm, what two natural parts of life cause erosion? I'm not gonna give you any more hints than that. They start with the same letter. Last tent, they start with the same letter. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Wind and water cause erosion. They change the shape of land. That's what erosion is. Kindergarten question. What are the three R's? And that picture right there is a very good hint. What are the three R's? You need to get all three words, all three actions in order to give yourself a point. Five, four, three, two, one. Reuse, reduce, and recycle. And you didn't have to spell them correctly, but those are the three R's. Reuse, reduce, and recycle. Name three animal habitats. You have to name three to get credit. We learned about like eight of them this year. What are three animal habitats? Five, four, three, two, one. Here's a few you could have chose from. The desert, rainforest, mountains, ocean, pond, forest, grassland, and Arctic. Wetlands was another choice you may have had. Any of those would have counted. Moving on. What color paper melted the ice cube the fastest? This investigation is from kindergarten. We went outside with two ice cubes. We placed them on two different pieces of construction paper. Which color construction paper melted the ice cube the fastest? Five, four, three, two, one. The black construction paper melted the ice cube the fastest. Because remember, black, the color black, darker colors like navy blue, they absorb the sun's heat. Lighter colors like white reflects the sun. So that's why the ice cube that was on the black piece of paper melted faster. What does a praying mantis do to protect itself? Ooh, this is an animal safety question from kindergarten. What does a praying mantis do to protect itself? Five, four, three, two, one. There's a hint if you haven't gotten it yet. It makes itself look big and fierce. Make a prediction. Oh, science skill, predictions. How many jumping jacks do you think you can do in 30 seconds? Go ahead, make a quick prediction. Write that number down. Now, stand up and go. Count them. How many are you doing? You have 20 seconds left. Keep going, keep going. Get that body moving. Little movement break here. Let's see. See how close those predictions are. Two, one, stop. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you guys are right or not, if you were close. Let's move on. No points for that one. That was just for fun. Name one erosion control something that stops or slows down erosion.
five, four, three, two, one. You could have said levee, seawall, sewer drains, windbreak, river dam, grazing control, or planting vegetation. Fill in the blanks. This is another first grade question. The sun rises in the blank and sets in the blank. Spelling does not matter, just do your best. Five, four, three, two, one. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. How long does it take for Earth to orbit around the sun? Multiple choice here. Does it take 28 days, six months, one year, or 365 days? How long does it take for the Earth to orbit around the sun? It's not 28 days. That's how long it takes the moon to orbit the Earth. It's not six months. Either C or D were the correct answers. One year and 365 days are the same amount of time. It takes that long for the Earth to orbit the sun. One year. How is sound made? Hmm. How is sound made? Think of those sound stations we did in first grade. Sound is made by vibrations. That's the answer, vibrations. What are the three states of matter? Five. Four, three, two, one. Solid, liquid, and gas. If you got that, give yourself a point. What is a seawall usually made out of? Hmm. Here's an erosion control. What are they usually made out of? What material? Concrete. Another answer could have been boulders, those big, big rocks or even steel. What can be all three states of matter depending on its temperature? Hmm, way back in kindergarten we learned about this. What object on our planet can change its state of matter depending on its temperature? Five, four, three, two, one. Water, right? Water is a solid when it's ice, when it's frozen. It's a gas when it evaporates like steam or water vapor. And it's a liquid, the water that you drink or the water that you take a shower with or swim in in a pool, right? Next question. What does it mean if an object is transparent? Hmm, that picture is giving you a good hint. What does it mean if an object is transparent? Five, four, three, two, one. That it lets all the light through, right? Windows are transparent. Glasses are transparent. Let's all the light through. And I believe this is the last question. What percentage of the earth is water? This is a second grade question. What percentage of the earth is water? 50%, 93%, or 71%? Not 50, not 93. 
the earth is 71% water. And if you guessed a number near 71, that counts, right? Like 70 or 72. The earth is 71% water and 29% land. I hope you guys had fun reviewing all of the science topics we've covered over the past three years. You are all science stars in my heart. I have really enjoyed learning and investigating science with you guys the past three years. I know that you're ready for third grade science at the comics. I can't wait to hear what you learned there. Um, and yeah, love Miss Millerick. I'm going to leave a survey that I want you guys to complete as well. So thank you so much. Have a great, great summer.